Hi, everybody. I'm going to show you how to get logged into Freezins and then how to begin building out a yearbook page. So what you're going to do, let me share my screen. You're going to go to Freezins login, which is logon.freezins.com, and it sends you here to your login stuff. So go ahead and hit login. And then it takes you to this screen. Now for designing pages, you really don't need anything besides the build it tab. So I'm gonna come over here to build it and click this tab. So in pages is where you're gonna find your entire ladder. The ladder is the name for the outline that you make from page zero to page to the last page in the entire book. In this case, that's page 136. So this is what our ladder looks like. Every single spread or two pages of the ladder has been labeled and assigned. So this is what you guys get to pick out. What is your yearbook theme gonna be? Who is in charge of what? And what is each spread going to contain? So since this is a book about your entire year, you have to think about what activities and events you want to include. If it's a year like this year, then you have to get really creative on getting prompts from students from home. So we have the cover here and then all of our spreads below. They're all labeled, as you can see. Laura will be doing memories. Delani will be doing the administration page. Jessly is doing the staff page. Delani is doing Teacher's Best, Laura is doing Spirit Week, Andrea is doing Senior Most, Lietha is doing the Senior Intro, and then we will load in all of our senior portraits, all of our junior portraits, all of our sophomore portraits, and all of our freshman portraits. We're including a top four. We're including an intro for each class, including candid photos of the students from the class, whether it be junior, senior, sophomore, or freshman. We are then moving into, these are all of the portraits, there's quite a lot, sports, clubs, creative pages that might include prompts or um, different sort of fill in the blank work, like kind of activity sheets for students. This year we are getting really creative since we can't do sports or clubs and we have to think about other ways to fill in those pages. But all of those will be outlined and right here they're just labeled as Jessly's creative page, Delani's creative page, and so on and so forth. So you'll see how all of these are labeled and the ladder is nice and clear and clean and finished, which is what we want. So I am going to click on, let me just scroll up here. I'm going to click on this page because I don't think that anybody has done anything with it yet. And now if I don't hit save, then nothing gets saved, which is good. That's what we want um, in this case because I just want to kind of show you guys how to do stuff. So you're going to double click on the page. I'm not going to save it so that none of my work gets saved, but normally you would want to save all your work as you go, unless you're just kind of experimenting or playing around with the page, then you can do whatever you want, not save it, and it's totally fine. So it's going to open up this whole separate little page for you here, and that's going to look, it's going to show you what the two pages look like. And this is where you get to be creative and use your design aesthetic and kind of make it look the way you want it to look while still fitting the theme so that we have a unified and beautiful yearbook at the end of the year. So in the beginning of the year, you would have already chosen your colors and your fonts. Now you just get to play around with all of that stuff. So here's what your two pages look like. If for some reason you don't really like the way the grids look, then you can uncheck any of these things to get rid of all of those lines. I like the way they look though, so I'm going to leave them. Just for an example, you see what it looks like when you get rid of some of that stuff? 
but it helps me stay organized and focused when I have the lines. It helps me understand if things look even or balanced or straight. So I'm going to leave my columns up. I'm going to leave all of my grid lines up. And then I'm going to kind of go through this stuff over here on the side. You're mainly going to be using photos that you guys have uploaded to put in and drag over here. Here's where all the photo categories are. And I'll show you guys how to upload photos into that later. But in case you were ever wondering what these things are, they're just other stuff for you to play with, like templates that Freezins has already made, backgrounds that Freezins already came up with, clip art, text bubbles, and fun stuff like that that you can kind of play with should any of that stuff be interesting to you. But here we're just gonna be using the images that we already have. Now let's say that this is my spread and I know that I wanna make it all about Arizona sunsets. So I'm going to click this T where it says add text. I'm gonna click down here and it gives me a text box. Now in the text box, this is only 12 point font, so it's gonna be super teeny tiny. I want to change that to be a little bigger. Let's make it 80 for now, just so you guys can see it. And we'll call it Arizona Sunset. So I'm going to make this box nice and big. And then I can kind of move it wherever I want it. And then of course it's completely up to you whether you want to do one page here and one page here, or if you wanna make the entire two pages your canvas. That is your call. You're the creative director of your own spread. You just have to think about what you want beforehand. So here's the text. You can change the font if you want right here. The fonts have been preloaded for you guys in the beginning of the year. Um, you guys chose the fonts. So I'm going to choose Limelight. You can also change the color of the fonts. I'm on a really slow computer. Sorry about that. We'll make this even bigger since the Limelight needs a little bit more space. And you can choose the color right here. All of these colors have been preloaded for you guys as well. You guys chose the colors in the beginning of the year. And it's nice to choose the fonts and the colors ahead of time so that you can create a sense of unity amongst all pages. So here's our text. Now let's say I want to load in some of the photos that students have been uploading. You literally just pull it over and drag it. You can expand it as big as you want. And just keep in mind that here's the border. You guys will decide as a team if you want the photos to extend all the way past the border, if you want to keep it within the border. And then you just move the photo wherever you'd like. You can add as many text boxes as you want to include student quotes, questions for students, prompts like where is your favorite hike in the valley or what was your favorite hike that you took in 2020. You can also use these shapes up here to do lots of cool stuff. Like for instance, if I wanted to include a bunch of pictures that looked like mountain ranges, then I would select this triangle here. Put one of those shapes up like that, make it the size that I want, and then you can fill it in with one of the photos. And you can kind of keep doing that. So here's our other little triangle. You can blow it up. 
we can move it to where we want. And then I can put another photo in there. So now we have a beginning sort of of a, of a spread. If you right click, you'll see that there's options like send to the front, send to the back, send backward. So if you have, I'm gonna do one more triangle so that you guys can see how this works. If you have all of your triangles here, put it right there, make it nice and big. And then we'll use this picture again. We'll put it right in there. So you have all of your triangles. You can move them around as you need. But let's say you want this one to go in the background. You highlight it, you right click, and you can either send it to the back, which makes it go all the way to the back. Right click again. You can bring it forward once if you want. Send forward, brings it forward one layer. You can even go again, send forward again. So that's kind of how you play with that. And now you see how it goes over the sunsets. If you want that to go behind, again, you just click it, right, right click and send to back. And then it goes behind. So that is the main gist of how you get to start creating these pages. If you don't like this stuff, all you have to do is, if you love it, hit save and keep working. If you hate it, then don't hit anything. Don't worry about saving anything and leave. So now here we are back in the ladder. I'm gonna show you guys the library real quick because I think that's important. Keep in mind, there's a whole lot you can do with your yearbook spreads, including some really fancy cool stuff that can be done in Adobe InDesign. However, the basics is just you want to have your headline, you want to have some copy, which would be lots of those text boxes to include student stories, student quotes, highlights of the year, stats from certain games or events, top 10 songs of the year, so on and so forth. And then you always want to be including photographs too. You want to make sure that it all looks good. You really want it to look nice because this is an artistic book. So make sure that's always in the top of your mind. Now, if you're in Build It and you see pages is where we just were, if you go to library, this is where you can see all of the photographs that are being uploaded by you, the photography team, and the students of Maryville. So you see that all of these categories were created by the design team based on what you guys wanted for this year's book. We have Arizona pictures, club and sports categories, we have candids of students just being silly, living life. We have different drinks that students like, homecoming and pets. We have the cover shoot, teachers, superlative page, all different types of sports and stuff. Now, if you go to the public uploads folder, this one is made by the publishers. And this folder has all of the photos that are uploaded by students using the Uploaded app. So this is a new this is a new category named public uploads and this is going to always be changing as students um, load and delete their own photos from this. So this is kind of a free for all. We're hoping that students label all of their photos so that we know where to put them and how to categorize them. But it's a pretty cool opportunity for us to see students doing what they love to do in their own life, sending us photos from their phones, which I think is a really cool opportunity. But otherwise, if you want to upload photos, you just hit upload. You select the category that you want to upload to. These were all created by you guys, remember? And let's say Arizona, you would browse for files, leave this box clicked. It helps make our photos look nice and clean. And then you start the upload. And that's pretty much it. You always want to make sure that you do have a description and a title for your photographs. I hope that this was informative for you. Let me know if you have any questions. And remember, this is just the beginning. It's just the basics, but it should be enough to get you started for now. Have fun. Keep your vision in mind and make something beautiful.